Don't Judge a Moon by Its Cover, presented by Science at NASA. At first glance, Saturn's moon Phoebe doesn't look much like a planet. It's only 220 kilometers in diameter, smaller by far than most U.S. states. The moonlet is dark, airless, and pitted with craters nearly as wide as Phoebe itself. Yet researchers have just announced that this small, apparently misshapen hunk of ice and rock orbiting backwards around Saturn is more like a planet than anyone imagined. Astronomers have long known that Phoebe wasn't like other moons in the Saturn system, so when NASA's Cassini spacecraft reached Saturn in 2004, visiting Phoebe was a top priority. In fact, it was the first moon Cassini encountered on its way in to Saturn. Data from the flyby have occupied mission scientists ever since, and they released their findings in the journal Icarus in April 2012. By combining Cassini data with modeling techniques previously applied to other solar system bodies, we've been able to go back in time and clarify why Phoebe is so different from the rest of the Saturn system, says Jonathan Lenine, a co-author on the study and a Cassini team member at Cornell University. First of all, Phoebe is more spherical than it looks. Grid lines wrapped around the moon resemble a well-worn classroom globe, once round, but a bit battered from overuse. Cratering has made the body visually irregular, but in the distant past, it was clearly much more uniform. Co-author Peter Thomas, a Cassini team member at Cornell, explains, From the shape seen in Cassini images and modeling the likely cratering history, we were able to see that Phoebe started with a nearly spherical shape. Apparently, Phoebe formed early enough in the solar system's history to capture radioactive materials in its core. As in the core of Earth, Radioactive decay inside Phoebe would produce a significant amount of heat, warming the interior and reshaping the moon into a sphere. In this scenario, heavier materials would sink to the core, and lighter materials would float to the top. Indeed, Cassini data indicate that Phoebe has denser, rock-rich material concentrated near its center. Internal heating, layering, a spherical shape? Planets have these same properties. This doesn't mean, though, that Phoebe is a full-fledged planet. Objects like Phoebe represent building blocks of planets, says JPL's Julie Castillo-Rojas, lead author of the study. They give scientists clues about what conditions were like around the time of the birth of planets and their moons. The researchers believe Phoebe is probably a cousin of Pluto, born in the outer reaches of the solar system. This would solve a number of mysteries. While Saturn's regular moons orbit in a common plane and go around the planet in the same direction, Phoebe's orbit is tilted and retrograde. It actually circles Saturn backwards. At some point in the distant past, the little planetesimal probably wandered by Saturn and got caught by the gas giant's gravitational field. Given that Phoebe's density and composition are similar to Pluto's, it is likely that Phoebe came from the same place Pluto lives, the Kuiper Belt, the region of ancient, icy, rocky bodies beyond Neptune's orbit. Remarkably, Phoebe is just one of more than 60 moons in the Saturn system, each with its own unique history. At least 59 stories remain to be told. For more news from Saturn, as Cassini continues on its voyage of discovery, stay tuned to science.nasa.gov.